Welcome to Electron Online. Now here's a better visualization of what we mean by amplitude modulation. So here's a simple example. Let's say that we have a function in the time domain. Here's a sinusoidal function that represents a signal that we want to transmit. Now it doesn't have to have a uniform uh, amplitude or uniform frequency. It can change however you want it to change, but this is what we're trying to transmit. And so the Fourier transform will look something like this in the frequency domain. So let's go ahead and put the vertical axis in there. So that would be the, the Fourier transform. This would be the frequency. You can see it has a certain amplitude and certain width, and that's the signal that's going to be broadcast or, or transmitted. Now what you want to do is you want to put that at a particular frequency because if you want to transmit multiple broadcasts you have to have each of them on a separate frequency band and so you want to go ahead and then have a frequency shift in the frequency domain. We know we can do that by multiplying the function in the time domain by a cosine of omega t. Doing that that will give us two Fourier transformers, one that shifted to the left and one that shifted to the right by this frequency, by the omega sub naught. And so that's what's going to look like. It will be the Fourier transform we had before. We'd only have the amplitude, but shifted to the left and shifted to the right by the amount of quantity that we wanted. So we can have multiple signals like that multiplied by multiple cosine functions, each with a different frequency. And so all these transmissions can then be put at a different frequency band so they don't interfere with one another. Now notice you still have the general shape of the original signal that gives you the amplitude envelope of the cosine function. So when we take the Fourier transform, you still have the same signal that is and the frequency demand as before, except for half the amplitude, you have two lobes, one on the left, one on the right, both of them shifted by omega, negative omega because shift to the left, positive omega because shift to the right. Notice that the shape of that in the, in the frequency domain will ex look exactly the same. The width of that, that uh, frequency band is still the same as it was over here, it's just a smaller amplitude. And so the amount of the shift is determined by the frequency of the signal superimposed or multiplied by the initial, the initial function in the time domain that we're trying to transmit. If you want to shift it more, you have a higher frequency, higher frequency and shift it further to the left and further to the right. If you want to shift it less, then you have a smaller frequency here and that will then give you less of a shift. And that's what we mean by amplitude modulation when you want to transmit carrier signals like this at different frequencies. That's how it's done.